This is Andy Gardner at Highlander and one of the instructors here. Um, I wanted to show you a few little tips and tricks around the rectangle frame tool in InDesign today. Which we spend quite a lot of time on the rectangle frame tool and I think it's quite useful just to know some of the shortcuts and little tricks you can use there to make your performance a little bit better. Um, so the rectangle frame tool is found over here on the left. It's the little square there with a cross in it. And if you want to use that on a page, you can come across the page and create a new rectangle frame just by clicking once. And you can then enter the exact settings for the size of that frame you'd like. So if you're wanting to actually match that to a specific measurement, for example, 25 mil by 35 mil, I can do that and click OK. And that will automatically place a rectangle frame on the page there at that exact size. Let's assume, however, I wanted to create one freehand. I can select the rectangle frame tool and I can drag out a rectangle frame on the page. Now, I'm still holding my finger down on the mouse here. And while I'm holding my finger on the mouse, I can hold down the space bar and I have the opportunity to move that frame around and reposition it on the page. So if I wanted to line it up to the margins there, for example, I could do so. Let's just say, for argument's sake, I also wanted to make that frame into a square. Now, I could try and do it by eye, but that's not going to be very efficient, and the measurements may end up being slightly off. A much easier way to do that is just press and hold the Shift key. And the Shift key will constrain the proportions so the width and the height are exactly the same. So you end up then having a perfect square, um, which is a nice easy way to do that rather than just relying on your eye and trying to line that up properly. And again, remember I still have my finger on the mouse so I can still put the space down again and move this around the page. Another little trick here which I might want to do is create multiple frames and I may want say a grid of let's say nine frames all sized exactly the same size to place images in for example or some particular text. Now the old way of doing that will be to create one of the frames and then use something like step and repeat from the edit menu to create the extra frames of the same size. These days that's no longer necessary although I do still come across a lot of people doing that. But a much quicker and easier way these days will be to use, while I still have my finger held down on the mouse, the arrow keys on the keypad. And I can use the right arrow key to add more grids in that direction, or more frames rather I should say, and I can use the up arrow key to add them in that direction. So I can create that nice kind of grid of frames there if I wanted to. If I want to remove them, I can use the left arrow and the down arrow and the right arrow and the up arrow again, add them. And again, while I've still got my finger held down with the mouse, if I want to move them around the page, I can press and hold the space bar, and that will let me reposition them on the page as a grid. And equally, if I use the shift key, that will work as well, and I can force them into squares again. So I can really kind of go to town on this and use these different shortcuts to make life much, much easier when you're creating these frames. When I'm done, just let go of the mouse, and I then have my nine individual frames placed on the page. And you can see each frame there is separate. They each have an individual cross in them. And if I deselect, I could now, for example, place nine images, one into each frame. Or if I wanted to, I could start combining some of those frames together um, and create specific shapes with them. So that's a few little shortcuts there with the rectangle frame tool, which will hopefully save you a little bit of time there.